Well, after school shootings in Parkland and Santa Fe, the U.S. Secret Service developed a guide to assess threats on campus. Big Two's Steffi Lee shows us how the behavioral threat assessment tool works from the Texas State School Safety Conference. Schools are the first stop for mental health support, um, for resources. Kem Edwards been at Mesquite ISD for more than two decades, spending half of those years providing counseling services. When we know why, we can begin to address the problem. She and her colleagues say they've learned that's where the behavioral threat assessment tool can be critical. Ask the question, why? Why does this kid feel this way? Why are they having these thoughts? And sometimes it's because of things that are happening at school. Sometimes it's because of true mental health concern or a mental illness that's presenting in its early stages. And sometimes it's because of stuff that's going on at home. Part of the tool drills down on motives, what's been communicated, whether her students shown inappropriate interest or engaged in attack related behaviors. It's putting a safety plan in place, uh, getting them the counseling that they probably need, getting their parents the counseling that they might need. Their message to other districts, be honest in the process. We can't afford to use euphemisms and, and happy words because we're talking about people shooting people and people dying and we're going to prevent that from happening. Steffi Lee, Big Two News. Well, it's important to note that a threat assessment is not a checklist or a way to label students as troublemakers. The Texas State Safety School Center has a threat assessment toolkit on its website that draws from the foundation outlined by the federal government.